What's up, guys? So, came in in the shop Sunday. Gonna shoot a uh, quick tools and video. Now, tools in use. Um, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to put these uh, valve springs back in this Equinox motor. Check it out. So like I said, just coming in real quick on a Sunday, putting in a little work on this Equinox build. You know, I gotta, I gotta get in the work where I can. Um, but if you guys watched that engine teardown video we did on uh, breaking this thing down, pulling the head off, and when we pulled those valves out, I showed you guys how to use a, uh, you know, the right size socket with a hammer. You know, you pop it down a couple times, get those keepers out, use a little bit of grease so it don't go flying. But uh, they actually make a tool for that. You know, I always like to show alternatives, you know, alternative ways and to get the job done the right time, obviously, on the channel. But I want to show you guys this tool. We're going to put this tool down in action. We're going to put this tool to use and show, uh, show you guys how it works. But the tool's Lyle. It's, uh, it's actually, uh, you know, a, a valve keeper, remover, and installer. It's a really nice tool, but let's get you guys set up on the tripod and we'll open this thing up, show you what's in there, and uh, go ahead and put some of these in and the head and uh, show you how it works. All right, guys. So here's the tool, part number 36050. And basically what it is, I mean, it's basically like the socket method. Um, you know, you got the, uh, you know, if you consider, pull the little or one out, they got two different sizes, one for bigger valves and keepers and all that stuff, and then one for the smaller ones. But this section here, is to install it. That's a spring action. We'll show you guys how to use that one. But basically, removing them, you just use this part, just like the socket method I showed you guys. You know, you'll put it down on the top of the valve spring. And instead of using grease and worried about the keepers flying, there's actually a magnet inside here. So when you pop it down with the hammer, uh, not the spring, but when you hit it down with a hammer, it grabs the keepers and sticks them to the side. That way you can just fish them out. But it's a rather simple design, but the tool works great. I, I usually only use these, obviously reassembling it. Uh, I like to use the socket method for some reason, getting them out. But I'll we'll show you guys how this tool works. So like I said, this by itself is to remove them. And then when you want to reinstall them, you just set it up like that. We'll get you guys in real close and show you how to get some of these in. All right, guys. So I got all the old... Uh, got all the old seals out basically you just want to you know tap them with a screwdriver they should pop right out you might have a little carbon build up find a couple getting out but they came out for the most part I tried cleaning up down there as much as I can we don't need to go crazy here but get these uh, seals set up just pretty much set them down on there and push them down sometimes what you can do is get a socket and use the socket around it and then just push it you know get the socket to go around here and then just push down with the socket but these should go on no problem. We'll do the first couple here. Alright. So we got our valves. We got all the valves set up where they go, the cylinders they go to. And what I like to do is just get started. Take the first one, first valve. I still use a little bit of oil. Put some oil on it and push it up to where it needs to go. Make sure it seals and spins good. And then what I'll do, I'm gonna set it down flat. I'll take a shop rag and just stuff a shop rag underneath the uh, valve so it doesn't fall out. Get our Valve spring ready. Clean it up a little bit. So I'm going to re-oil everything. Once we're done here, get your valve set in place. You'll take your retainer. Drop your spring in. Take your retainer. I like to put the keepers in before I put it on top of the spring, 
So I'll line them up and these things are directional, they're tapered. You want to put the thin side down and get them matched up as good as you can. Then set that on top of the spring. Then you'll take your tool, the Lyle tool, with the nipple side and line it up. And then push down. Try to have control. You'll hear it click. All right. Well, it takes some uh, finessing and getting used to, but you got it in there. So what we'll do, we'll go to the next one, get the rag underneath. Grab your spring. Set the spring in there. Take your retainer, drop the keepers in there one at a time. Like that, try to keep them even. Line everything up. We'll try to get this next one done. Now this one I got this way, but I like to turn it, because when one likes to set in there, I, I like to wiggle it up and down. So line it up. Try to have control here. Voila. So there it is, guys. Got two done. So that's it, guys. That tool, like I said, it takes some getting used to. Um, you know, basically, you know, your hand gets tired pushing down on it. You can use a hammer on it. You know, I don't want a, a keeper flying across the shop, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop this here, knock out the rest of the, maybe the exhaust ones. I gotta cut out, I'm actually getting hungry. Uh, but that's the tool, guys. Like I said, you got, there's two different ones, two different sizes. This is for the smaller ones. Then you got the bigger ones in the, for the you know bigger keepers like uh, the LS motors and all that with the fat valves, and then it also has a little uh, little keeper in here for uh, to keep the. This is a little adapter to keep the keepers standing up for those inset ones like the Honda heads and all that stuff where the valves are you know sunken into the head. You could use that, but uh, you know a couple quick tips like I said guys, get the valve in there, use the rag underneath it, and then uh, you know to keep the valve staying up. Pop the spring on there, and what I like to do is take those keepers before you put the retainer in there, drop the keep, you know, line up the keepers, drop it in, there, then set that on top of the spring. And it's all about just even momentum, pushing down, um, get all these in there. So quick tools in action for you guys. Like I said, I, next time you see it, we'll do, uh, we'll probably have, you know, be putting the cams on, getting ready to put this thing in. The timing chains did show up on this one. Um, got the whole kit. The two chains, I got the guides, all the guides. Here's the guide that broke right here, got a new one. I got the two tensioners, the gears, water pump gear, crank gears for the balance shaft. So everything's there for me to get this thing, get this head on, get this thing timed, and uh, run through it. Get this uh, murder quinox build done, get this thing paid forward. So. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the rest of these valves, at least the exhaust side's one cut out of here. Next time you guys see this head, I'll have all the valves in there, have all the seats in there. I'll kick another video off when, uh, after I get all the valves in there, before we go bolting down the cams. Maybe we'll do a quick video on that, torquing those cams down and all that stuff, getting that ready to be bolted onto the block and uh, get this chain on there. So that's it, guys. Again, I'll leave the link to the uh, Lyle tool down in the description. Pretty great tool. It's uh, really great for taking the, taking the valves out, for un, you know, uninstalling the, the keepers and all that stuff. As far as, uh, as, far as installing them, you know, it, it, it's only great for, like I said, for a head like that, where the springs are sunken down into the head, you know, it's better than using those compression valve tools. So, like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you all in the next one. Signing out.